There's someone right behind me. I guess I should accelerate at a rapid pace. y'all oh that was a solid hole in the road right as I look at the camera a couple things to get out of the way before we get to today's topic first of all to my homies in Atlanta who are dealing with the uh, bridge that got knocked back six feet and it, I guess it's on like a main road and they got to go around it and all that stuff I feel you because Monday someone hit a bridge in Massachusetts going into the city on like the main highway 93 into the city uh, so I'm currently taking back roads to go around that because I need to go into the city because I went to the Turn dentist right today does anyone else absolutely despise the dentist I have a very nice hygienist I have a very nice dentist I still just dread going there if you haven't already this worked out real well last time. People liked when I said it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. If you aren't subscribed and you're watching these videos, it helps YouTube think that I'm not quite fully washed up yet. Um, so make sure you, as I go invisible, hit the subscribe button. On Instagram, on my story, obviously when I fill this car up with ethanol, you gotta flex on the homies and say I'm filling up with ethanol. I've been posting pictures of the car being filled up with ethanol, and you guys keep messaging me, how are you running ethanol in the S6. Uh, now I think we briefly covered this in the uh, S6 tuning video, but if for some reason you missed that video or uh, it wasn't clear in that video, which would be on my end and I apologize, how to run E85 in the S6 is very simple. Uh, specifically to the integrated engineering tune, IE says that if you want to run between an E60 to an E85 blend, which requires you measuring the ethanol content because some stations come in below E60 and the lower the ethanol content, the more likely you are to have some knocking from bad fuel. What you're gonna do is you're gonna run your tank down to pretty much empty. I usually run it down until it says like 30 or zero miles of range left, at which point I probably have two or three gallons of 93 in the tank. Uh, I go ahead and fill the tank up all the way with ethanol after measuring the ethanol content. If you're in Massachusetts, the ethanol station in Cambridge uh, regularly measures between like E75 to E80. Um, so it's almost not worth measuring at this point until someone says something, I'm just going there to fill up. There's also one in Westboro that's pretty high quality, but that is off the Mass Pike. Um, and it's only one direction, it's only westbound. If you're going eastbound, um, you're gonna have to loop around. It's like a half hour detour to go to the ethanol station. There's also one in Canton that I haven't been to, but a lot of the homies go to and they say it's pretty high quality ethanol. Uh, and then there is one at the airport that is really low quality ethanol that I would recommend staying away from. Um, all you have to do is pump the car full of ethanol, make sure that your blend, you can do the math out afterwards on an ethanol calculator or in your head, uh, is above E60 to E85. And then you just go ahead and flash the E85 file uh, from integrated engineering. Now, if it's your first time doing this, the way that I would recommend doing it is this. Pull up to the pump, get your ethanol tester out. I have a fuel at one, but there's a bunch of ones on Amazon and the internet and just in general. Uh, fill up the ethanol tester. You're gonna need a little bit of water uh, and some ethanol fuel, obviously. See what percentage the ethanol is. If it's good, back away from the pump, flash the car, make sure you get the tune in the car first, and then drive to the pump and fill it up with ethanol. Once it's filled up with ethanol, and obviously you're on the ethanol file, you wanna drive about five to seven minutes before even doing anything past like half throttle, um, just to give the car some time to acclimate, make sure all the 93 is out of the fuel system, and make sure everything is rolling well. You won't blow the car up if you had to floor it for some emergency reason. Uh, obviously there's all sorts of fail safes in this ECU, and none of them are overridden in the, at the integrated engineering software. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that, but if you have your engine's best interests in mind, it's probably best not to floor it or go crazy until about five to seven minutes after you've flashed. The ethanol flash does add a uh, considerable amount of power, especially when feeling it on the butt dyno. Um, it also, uh, for me, added about 0.3 seconds or removed about 0.3 seconds from the quarter mile when 11.3 at 120 on uh, 93 and I went 11.0 at 125 on ethanol. 
Now, when you want to fill your car back up with 93 and you're done with ethanol, all you have to do is run the ethanol tank close to empty. Uh, same process as if you're going to fill up with ethanol. And then go ahead, flash the 93 tune, fill the car up with 93. One thing to note when you're switching back from uh, E85 to 93, the car does tend to run uh, pretty rough for the first like two or three minutes. Um, while well, the car gets the fuel trims and everything resituated. So when you start the car and it sounds like a cammed V8, um, don't worry, it'll iron itself out pretty quickly. You're not gonna cause damage to engine running ethanol. Uh, Integrated has done obviously uh, uh, intensive dyno sessions both way up at altitude uh, at sea level and they've run the car both at altitude and at sea level as well. This kid is talking on the phone while on a moped. Um, I don't know beyond stage one, I actually haven't asked about this, if you'll still be able to run E85 without at least a uh, high pressure fuel pump internals. And obviously, if you do get high pressure fuel pump internals, it's not gonna hurt you. If you're running uh, stage one, it's just gonna allow the car to supply more fuel. But um, obviously, if you just want a stage one car and just wanna put ethanol in it, um, that is, uh, that's totally fair game on the integrated engineering tune. They've logged it, they've calibrated it, they feel good about their calibration. Um, and since it is a, uh, a full-on ECU flash, you know, they have every aspect of the ECU uh, available for modification. Very confident in the safety, very confident in the safety and also the reliability of the tune. Now related to that is people saying, can you run an E40 mix in the car? The answer right now is no, there's no E40 file. Uh, it's either 93 octane or it is uh, E60 to E85. I know some other tuners have flex fuel, and you know if, if that's advantageous to you, then obviously that's a benefit of them. Um, I have no issue running it out, swapping to 93, running it out, swapping it back to E85. Couple, couple people ask, how is the mileage on E85? Um, my car, or rather the integrated engineering tune does disable cylinder deactivation. Um, so if you didn't know, the S6 will go to four cylinder mode on the highway. Um, that is disabled, the car gets right around 23 to 24 miles a gallon on the highway at 93 if I am uh, I usually move at a pretty good pace on the highway I'm not a, a slow driver by any means um, but 23 24 I did try to like hyper mile it and do like 65 70 instead of uh, a little bit faster than that which is what I usually do and I actually saw almost 28 miles to the gallon uh, that's on 93. On E85, I honestly haven't noticed much of a difference highway cruising, maybe 22, 23 instead of 23, 24. But around town, man, like I've been driving 28 minutes, I've gone seven miles, I've got 12.6 miles a gallon. On 93, it'd probably be more like 15 or 16. Um, so uh, it definitely likes to suck down the uh, the corn juice, but man, this engine is happy to see it. I hope that explains how to run ethanol in your S6. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, and we're heading to the track on Friday, I think. So uh, follow along on Instagram if you want to see updates there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity. And I will catch you guys Watch in the next video. Shoulder ahead.